woke up and uh, I'm gonna do one of my favorite things this morning a jungle walk I used to do this all the time before leaving Panama to go travel this was my favorite thing ever to do it's still been one of my favorite things to do it's just so peaceful to wake up to the sound of nature listen to these little birds singing and just just feel that connection with nature in general for me that is the best and the views that we get from here are just absolutely stunning. I love this place. I'm starting the day pretty late today. I went to town, I had a medical appointment that I had to attend to. It was uh, for my eyes. The doctor say I need glasses. I, I see perfectly fine, but he says that it's just for prevention. So don't be surprised if in a few weeks you start to see me around here with some glasses. As you can see over here, I have my setup and I'm getting all the power. It's my little Getty. Having a permanent source of power is it has changed the way I see electricity. Before I was like, all right, there is electricity. I don't really need it that much with a power bank, I can survive. But now I have my little thing, it's like, wow, I was missing out a lot. Gotta continue working around here. I got these holes for the footers and I gotta start working on those things today. By the way, if you hear that beeping sound, it's because uh, they're fixing the road that is in front of our, our farm. They're fixing it because it was during the rainy season, all the time it gets destroyed, so they fix it during the dry season that is right now. As you can see, we got a blue sky that is beautiful. Ah, and it's, it's not hot, it's just like in perfect, perfect temperature. That's what I love. To make these next footers, I'm gonna need to create some structures that we call columns. They are built with rebar pieces. We bend some rebar pieces, we give like some L shapes, then we put four of them together, one tip face, facing to each side, and then we wrap it around with uh, kind of like brackets that we also make with rebars. And then we can just tie it together with the wire and then just pour the concrete once we put it there in the hole. Oh, and it's also got a platform at the bottom, so it, the concrete just like fills into that. How can I explain it? Okay, I think I got a way how to explain it. We basically first create a base. Uh, this base is going to be 50 square centimeters. Then in the center of that, I'm going to place this column that I'm going to make. And it's going to be just a skeleton, basically just a skeleton of the column. This is what's going to keep the concrete together and it's gonna make the footer strong. I think I got that right. Got the first structure ready. This one is horrible, but this is this is like the prototype. 
always the first one that we make is the one that looks the ugliest but the thing is that it's strong so if it is strong it doesn't matter how ugly it looks it's gonna be holding the house and just like that structure I'm gonna need to make another five little structures that are going to be holding these next footers those are the columns that we call I need to put three on that side and the three in this side I gotta do some more in the front but those ones are gonna take place later because uh, those ones are gonna be for the deck I'm pretty sure that there are gonna be some professional builders and people who know about construction a lot that are gonna be thinking that I don't really need those extra footers because I already got all the other footers that I have in the house. I got a couple of points that I gotta tell you before you say anything, right? The first point is that in the plans for the construction, this space here is designed to be just there. There's not gonna be any use for that space. And I kinda wanna use it. I don't wanna have a space in my house that is gonna be just there because, I don't know, decoration, beauty or something. I wanna, I wanna have the spaces of my house to be useful. And I'm thinking on use those sides that are hanging as a storage. There's where I'm gonna put the empty boxes. If I got some furniture I'm not, good, I'm not using or something that I got a store, there is where I'm gonna put it. And the plants is not designed to be like that. And as I'm thinking on doing like that, I cannot take the risk of adding some weight in a structure, in a part of a structure that was not designed thinking about holding weight. So I need to reinforce it. That's why I'm gonna do some footers. My next point is that the plans for this house were designed for free. Use the design and I pay the approbation, the permits and everything else that I had to pay for it, I pay for it. But I'm not 100% sure if these plans were designed to be built in a terrain like this. And as I'm not 100% sure of that, I'm not taking the risk. Sorry. I take daily risks on everything I do, but I'm not willing to take a risk on my house. And there it goes, the first little structure for the first footer. I, I gotta work a lot in the next ones. Today's are pretty late. If I would start really early in the morning, I would probably have got the three of the footers in this side done but I didn't start that early so tomorrow I'm planning to start as early as possible come over here ah uh, come on good morning how are you doing Teddy Sophie Lucy Peppa Mocha Good girl! Everton and Enrique are helping me to cut the plates, well, one of the samples for the plates of these next footers. They are currently working on Kake's bathroom, so they have a generator up here and I didn't want to bring my generator all the way from the bottom there to the top here because that thing is heavy. There is where that tiny metal plate is gonna go. This one is gonna be what's gonna be in the top of this metal structure of the column. And then from that top, from here, there's gonna be a three by three inches beam that is gonna connect to this part of the structure. But before I start working on that part, welding that, I gotta make sure I have everything there level, fix these little rings because they are not that beautiful, as you can see. 
I, I gotta put them together there with wire. And I remember that when we were building those footers, when we were building that structure with the same metal, same thing, um, we had this idea of like, what if instead putting a wire to attach it together, we put a little, a little weld in there. It's like a little spark. Just hold it together because that is a function of the wire. The wire is going to be holding it together until the concrete solidifies and gets fused everything together. There is like make it strong. Well, I gave it a chance and um, it it's not that brilliant, it's more time consuming. This is the one I was working in yesterday. I built the column, but I was missing to attach the little rings together to the structure. I used that, and I'm gonna start working on the next one. The plan is to make the concrete at the end, so if I have a little bit extra of concrete, I don't have to waste it, and I can pour it in the next column. I just remember why I didn't like doing this before. <laughs> oh, my back hurts. I haven't seen in there for a very long time, just tying all this thing together. But now it's time to take it to its place. All right, guys, welcome. This isn't sponsored by Jim Chen, by the way. Is it or is not? No. What are you guys doing drinking on the job? Come on. Honey, this is everyone's favorite show. What? Turn this around while I still be full drink. Two guys drinking beers while digging holes. Is that is that the uh... <laughs> The help just arrived, Kaylee and Jordan are here. They're gonna be helping me working in this next tiny footers for the house and of course with some John Chine. This thing is the best. I personally haven't tried that many kombuchas in my life, I'm gonna be honest. The only one I have tried is a coffee kombucha, that is one of them. I really love, but these things are just amazing. Yeah. Hi, it's me. We're digging some holes. Three in the ground. That's the update for now. <laughs> it's like there's a perfectly good road. We're like, nah, we're gonna, we're gonna take it down. Hasta la vista. See you next time, man. I'm sorry, we ended up changing a little bit the plan for the day. The plan was not to touch the right side, but uh, this is a side that's gonna take a lot of work, and I had the help right there. I just took it and did it at the moment. We got the three holes in this side also done. No, the only thing that is left for me is to work in the columns. To work in those columns, pour the concrete. The concrete's gonna happen tomorrow. I thought we'll have some time today, but. It's pretty late. I know that it looks like the day is almost over, but no, it is not done yet. I gotta fix this door. Um, the wind was so strong that it took it down from here, 
and I gotta fix it. I, at the beginning when I built this thing, I was, I didn't have idea what I was, what, what I was doing. And I didn't put a metal piece in the top, I used screw, the screws into the wood, and that's why I fell. But now that it is down, I have a chance to make it better. Good morning! <laughs> there you go! Hey, good morning! Daddy! What's up, Jonathan? What's up, dude? Morning! Morning! Oh, look what I got! We gotta try this this morning. <laughs> Buenos dias! Buenos dias. No? Buenos dias. Eso. Come on. This is how it is we need you down here. I, I even, I talk. Have you been doing a lot of voices recently? I talk about myself and I do voices and I do mom jokes to myself. I gotta finish this last structure that I didn't finish yesterday. I gotta finish it, put it in there, one of those holes, and then just go cut the plates, weld those plates in, and just start putting the concrete. Do this. Now, three of them are done. Just gotta work on the plates, build in there, put the boxes, and then put the concrete. I don't think I have shown you guys this yet. Ah, I'm loving this. I can fit anything in this thing. One of my friends sent me this. She, she's the best. I can put a hammer on it. I got pencils on it. I can put a tape on it because it got pockets. It has pockets. Something that is very useful once working with these kind of columns is to put some little rocks at the bottom of it. So they get lifted up from uh, the bottom ground, like maybe one inch or a little more, and that makes the concrete that I pour go under it and just really tie that skeleton together. And then that skeleton is what's gonna be holding the concrete when it solidifies. You may be seeing that this plumb level is not in the dead center of this column and that is because it is attached up there in the right of the structure. It's five centimeters to the right that makes it easier for me to take the level and just make sure that it doesn't move so much. Now what I do is that I measure the five centimeters that I have there from the center here in the bottom and that gives me the dead center of the piece. I'm pretty sure that there are hundreds of different ways to do this but this is a way that I I'm working with and it sets a better workflow for me.
you need to see this. I can make a rainbow! What? There he goes. I thought for a while of making it by hand, just put the gravel, the sand and the cement in the wheelbarrow and just mix it with the shovel, but that will take me hours, hours and hours. So I decided to go with a cement mixer because we have a cement mixer and we are not using it that much, so I gotta give it a use. It's ready. It's ready. One full day of work in four and a half hours. That is what happens when I drink too much coffee in the morning. I had like one and a half cups of coffee this morning and it just made me just like go like boom. But well, I'm glad I did it. No, I think I'm gonna start working on those structures. I still have time, it's just 2 p.m. It's 2 p.m. I have until five to get this done. I think I'm not gonna be able to start building those columns, but I got 90% of the rebars all bended and ready just to be put together tomorrow morning. That was another successful day of work. Just look at all the progress. We got the concrete and all these footers in here. We got the rebar pieces all ready to put together. Well, most of them already just put together. And besides, I had a great day, it was amazing. I need to do a lot of work tonight. I need to do a lot of editing. So one of the things that keeps me awake is what I'm just about to do. It's time to start the day. As you can see, I got the wild spirit on me. <laughs> By the way, I gotta show you something. <laughs> These are the glasses that I'm gonna have to use. I gotta use them as much as I can. That's what the doctor said, and it got it's got this technology that kind of like gets dark with the sunlight that is supposed to help my eyes with the UV light, I don't know. The doctor said I need them. What? what?
Oh, no way! This is cool! There is no way that this is happening right now. Check this out! Those are the beans that I planted the other day and they are just coming out now. This is this is the best. This is the best. I'm, I'm, this, I, I'm, I'm just so so excited about it. I mean these are these are my babies. These are my babies. They are growing up. They are coming out of the ground. This is the best. Come over here. <laughs> uh, he came down to visit me. <laughs> but I have to work. I have to continue working on these footers actually. I'm gonna take these glasses a little bit because I, I can't see you or you can't see me. It looks like sunglasses. <laughs> well, I gotta continue working on these footers. Um, I gotta put the nest, the next structure up there, put the concrete in there, and uh, before that I, I gotta place the plates. I also have to start working in the footers of the next side. I already got the holes for the footers, so I just basically have to work on the metal structure. one is done it's just the base I'm gonna work in the bases first and then I'm gonna take on on the next bar that is a little columns up I always saw that I could perfectly see everything in the right way but when I put these glasses on that usually get stuck in my hair I can really see everything. I mean, I thought I could see very good, but with these glasses, everything is like HD. Wow, jeez, I never thought I would have like... Those flowers are so colorful. And I also look like a rock star. Just look at it. <laughs> Just kidding. Leveling those things, just making sure that they go exactly in a straight line where they should go is a little bit tedious. But I just got it done. Good. What I have to do now is to start working on these little boxes. These are the boxes who are gonna hold the concrete into place while it dries out. If I don't put this, I'm gonna have to put this entire hole in this cement. And that is gonna be so expensive and it's gonna be unnecessary. I just have to make sure they are level because if not, the uh, kind of like the column that I'm gonna build is gonna be like moved to one side or to the other. I just need to fix that. But I'm done for the day. Hold on, this this thing is growing so fast. In the morning when I came to check it out, it was just one of them that I saw. I know all of it is coming out. Are the beans gonna be ready in like in three weeks? How long it takes? I need to ask my dad. Good boy! Come on, come get it! Come get it! <laughs> come on, good boy! Look, it's some corn! Ha! Got you! <sighs> good boys! One of our friends who works in a gold farm, he came the other day to visit us and we asked him about the goats just to see if they are really pregnant and guess what, he said both of them are very pregnant. 
goats usually last like 150 days in the gestation period. I don't really know that much about pregnancy, but I think that's the right term for that. And uh, they that started on November, so they are due to April, like first, second week of April, we will have baby goats running around the farm. And they are probably gonna escape to this little gap in here. <laughs> they are eating the treats. Puppies! Oh, Mucky! Hi, Mucky! Yoshi! So good, girl! Good morning puppies, what are you guys doing? Hey that work. I thought that with one single load I was gonna be able to fill all those holes and to finish putting it in the next footers but I'm gonna need to make at least half of the other load so I can finish doing all that but I still have some time, it's around 5pm but I still have all the energy of the world I can proudly say that I have accomplished the 70% of this construction, the footers construction. I just put the last load of concrete right there. And then tomorrow I got to start building the same boxes that I did on the other side to start pouring the, the concrete in this side. I got to put the plates and then after the plates I can start placing those beams that are going to go vertical up to meet the structure that is what it needs to hold. smell that, that is the smell of a good day of work and also some gas. <laughs> Boys and girls, let's go! That is a really nice sunset that is happening right in the back. I came up here because I'm gonna take a hot shower. I haven't taken a hot shower in a while and I gotta, I gotta take advantage of this hot shower. It's hot! I, I have to say it, showering is the easy part. Walking down to my jungle, all wet and with the wind, it's... It's just cold, cold, cold. Check out that sunset. Woo, puppies, it's cold. Help! <laughs> well guys, here is what we're gonna call this one. Thank you so much. My thong is used like it's frozen. Thank you so much to everyone for supporting this crazy journey. Oh, I love you guys. Love you so so much. You guys are the best. I, oh, I, will, I will always say it. you guys are the best. Love you so much and I guess I will see you in the next episode. Oh, 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 oh my god.